A few years ago, I maxed my Iron Man, but now I'm back. To obtain the best gear, complete combat achievements, and waste time filling out the collection log. Welcome to the Iron Man Endgame. It feels good to be back. Started off strong last video with the Corrupted Gauntlet grind, and I got the Bow of Ferdinand all finished up. We are ready, but this time around, I'm going to be switching my sights and work on a goal that I've had ever since the start of this account, and that is to be able to do every single clue step in the game. And currently, I am missing a few items to be able to do that, notably the Flared Trousers, Bandos Cloak, Black Dragon Mask, Zamorak Godsword, and the Bryophyta's Staff. And that one is what we're going to be focusing in this video. To make it, you gotta get the essence from Bryophyta. But to even kill that boss, you gotta get a rare mossy key drop from Moss Giants. This is gonna be a grind. Alright, let's plop our cannon down right here. And start firing. I'm gonna make sure I'm on auto-retaliate. Anyway, as for the mossy keys, when I say they're rare, I am not joking. From the normal Moss Giants, like these guys, it's 1 in 150. 150 kills to get even just one attempt at the boss. And then you can get them down to 1 in 60, but from the Wilderness Moss Giants. I could definitely do that, but I'm planning on like fully AFK in this grind, so uh, I don't want to deal with PKers. I, I'm going to go for the slightly slower keys this way. It's fine. But yeah, I have heard horror stories of people going extremely dry on this thing and using several hundred thousand cannibals. Hopefully that will not be me. Oh, okay, well, we already got a long bone. Uh, I'm going to probably see a lot of these during the grind. I'm, I'm sure we'll see some curved bones, too. Um, the sad thing is I don't actually need the giant champion scroll. I got that a long time ago. No clue where, but uh, that would have been a nice bonus to this grind. But I'll probably get more of those as well. Now, another thing I'm going to mention is I'm not going to be doing any beginner clues during this entire grind. This is a perfect time to work on the beginner clue log because you get them very commonly from Moss Giants and you're guaranteed a beginner clue every single Bryophyta. But all I'm going to say is look at my stack of beginner clues that I have right now. It's a secret where I got this from. You'll find out in a future episode. Trust me, it's going to be the most insane clue opening I've ever done. So stay tuned for that. Oh, there it is. That is the first one. A mossy key. Let me highlight that so I never miss it. This won't be the only account I'm playing, so it'll be like in the background. I'm sure I'm going to miss a ton of these. Oh, I totally forgot. They're they're stackable. That's right. Uh, when I originally was going to go do this, uh, they were not stackable, so you had to bank all the time. Oh, and one thing I'm really excited to see by the end is the stack of herb seeds. Uh, they are supposed to drop a lot of Toad Flax and Ranars, which um, at my stage of the game, I don't really get many of those, and I always need them. So, well, at least I want them. So it's not like their drops are completely garbage or anything. I have no idea how I have not finished this yet. I thought I did, but it must have been on my main account years ago. The Bear Your Soul mini quest. It's very quick, like only a couple minutes, and you get the Soul Bearer. This allows you to bank in sold heads before doing anything. You gotta charge it up with blood and soul runes. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure you just use the insold head on the Soul Bearer, and there we go. It carries the head to the bank. How did I max this account, get 99 Slayer, and never get this? I have no clue. <laughs> you have a funny feeling you would have received a champion scroll. Is that new? I, I swear you used to just get duplicates. Like, I've seen people with collection logs with, like, more than one champion scroll. Oh, you know what? Maybe I did that champion already. Is that why? I might have already done the champion. Whatever, okay. I'm going to probably see that message a lot, but... Yeah, we're under 100,000 cannibals now. Really sad. D uh, does it still go to the collection log, though? That's the question. It does not. That's just sad. Uh, at least the log will look clean. Well, that is the first of many, I'm sure. Curved bone. I already have so many long bones, too. Yeah, 14. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, that's that's a lot of construction XP. Alrighty, then. That's another champ scroll. Yeah. That's what I want to see. All right, Ranger Boots, come on. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. It could be anything in the game. Does it count for the collection log, though? Oh! That is so bad. I rolled the elite table, but not not, not a good part of it. <laughs> Let's check it out. Hard clue. 
Yo, okay, master. We take that, we take that. Hey, we actually got the master done. It was a full eight stepper, but honestly, there was no triples, so it was not that bad at the end of the day. Masters are always fun to open because you never know if you're gonna get the dog. Here we go. What the dog doing? Okay, you know, life is good when you see the collection log pop up. Lova Kane Hood. Righty then. All right, 400k Masters. Well, not bad. Finally, there it is. 118th Masi Key. Oh, man, you do not understand how long I have been here for these keys. Look at my inventory. An absolute truckload of seeds. 207 Ranars. That is, that's the prize right there. That is so many prayer pots. I mean, I'm doing really well on restorers. I think we're like nearly 5,000 Fordos, but I only have like 800 prayer pots. Uh, and I like using those when I don't need the restore effects. So, uh, that is going to be beautiful to have. And then it just goes down the list. 140 Toad Flex. That's going to be amazing for Bruise, for Nyx, um, and so on. But yeah, I don't want to be beating a dead horse. Uh, you guys already know the seeds are amazing. Uh, yeah, these Matsu Keys, they really took a long time. I'm like over 20,000 Moss Giants now. So we're, we're like past the drop rate. My drop rate for keys right now is 1 in 170. So we're, we're getting a little shafted, but uh, hopefully... That is the end of it. Hopefully we do get the essence in this stack. So yeah, I'm kind of in a weird spot now. I don't really want to send the keys right now. I kind of want to save them for tomorrow's stream. So do I just sit here and get more keys? Or do I just go and do something else for the rest of the day? <laughs> I guess we'll find out by the next clip. All right, scratch that. I did stay a little bit longer. We're at 141 keys. I just can't stop myself from coming here. I don't know, man. But today's the day. I'm gonna stop. We're gonna, we're gonna send the keys. Uh, I'm gonna force myself. We're gonna we're gonna bank right now, and I'll be ready to go. Now the question is, do I want to melee it? Do I want to range it? It's gonna be easy either way. But maybe I'll just have some fun with it. Maybe we can do some Elder Maul kills. I love this stupid weapon. All right. Before we start this, there are a lot of combat achievements with this boss. So let's check them out. Um. I already have one, I guess. Oh, I kill it once. Sorry. I did that for the music track a long time ago. So they're all uh, easy and medium tasks. Kill with Protect Mage. I mean, that's literally what you already do. Kill uh, without suffering any poison damage. I'll just use an anti-poison, so that's a shoe in uh, Kill it with either poison or venom being the last piece of damage. Uh, I might try to do that on my first kill. Um, I brought the Blowpipe and the Tanzanite Helm. Uh, those in combination guarantee venom, so... Uh, and then kill three of the Bryophyte as Growthlings within three seconds of the first one dying. I feel like this one's a little tricky, but I think it'll be fine. I, I changed my left click option on my axe to use, so it should be a lot quicker. Wish me luck, guys. Well, first try, I killed them with Venom. And then we got two more easy tasks. Law runes. Beautiful. Do I have to go out every single time, or can I, like, use the key or something? All right, let's pre-kill them. That way it should be a shoe in. All right, we're gonna try the growthling challenge. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> okay, that was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. You literally just pre-kill them and then bam, they're dead. <laughs> All right, let's use the key on it. Maybe that'll be better. No, you literally have to leave every time. That's kind of annoying. Bryo fight a champion. God, he's insane. I'm actually kind of disgusted, guys. Um, my my blowpipe has rune darts in it. <laughs> uh, Amethyst darts were not out when I played this account last. So, yeah, we got to go get that. That that should be my next AFK. I'm going to go get some Amethyst darts. I have no clue, like, how much better they are, but this is not going to stand. Oh, nice. We got a Mossy Key back. I mean, it's basically a free kill. Thank you very much, Bryo. I think the, the key drop is like 1 in 16, so probably you'll see it a couple more times throughout this. I also decided to fully switch to Blowpipe. It just makes killing the growth things like way easier. And I've noticed it's um, it's like the most consistent damage because he's low defense. All right, the real challenge. I am on a free-to-play world in a free-to-play gear dream. Look at them. Look at this champion. I went all the way into the Stronghold of Security to get these damn boots just for the look. So yeah, we got to get a free-to-play kill, and that is the final combat achievement for Bryophyta. All right, Rune 2H, do some work. Woo! A 10. That was terrible. Do another one. 
Ooh, a 19. All right, do a big 30. Come on. You know you want to. <laughs> it's crazy how much a defender makes a difference. Really? Back-to-back -back growthlings on my free-to-play kill? That is... That's not what I want, man. <laughs> it's not what I want. The biggest challenge of my life. Okay, the Rune 2H is a scam. Like, an actual scam. Items, just throw it away. Wait, okay, if you guys have a Rune 2H in your bank, I implore you to just throw it in the trash. There we go. How is he not dead? Like, actually, you are going to the timeout corner. I, I'm never... No, get out of my inventory. All right, that is Bryophyta Combat Achievements done, though. Very nice. Now we just need to get the, the damn essence. Oh, I got baited! No! <laughs> I just set up the loot beams um, on Runelight. Fiddling with them. They look so cool. And I made it where highlighted items get a beam. I'm still debating if I want that. Oh, man. They baited me. We'll take it, though, Masaki. Another chance. 69 tree boss. Holy shit, man. Now that's a drop. Bryophyta's essence. And a mossy key. 86 KC, so just under the drop rate. Let's go. That's a relief. I was kind of getting worried. I, I just had this feeling I wouldn't get it, but 62 keys left over, and I literally do not need to do them. I think I might just throw them in the bank. I don't need to do this anymore. And what's even better, guys, is we have another green boss log. How great is that? We only have two because <laughs> I have no pet luck on this game, but that's huge. First of many, second of many. All right, I think you just attach the essence to a battle staff. Yes, ooh, that's a cool animation. All right, um, do, like, do I need to charge this for the clue scroll? Like, does anyone know? <laughs> I have no clue. You know, I have so many nature runes. We're gonna we're gonna put a thousand in there just so it's charged because it looks a lot cooler. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Honestly, one of the coolest staffs in the game. I think it's just really. It's unassuming. It's really nice. Um, so in terms of like, what does this even do? It's definitely not worth the eight mil price tag. It's it's not very useful, but um, you can charge it with up to a thousand nature runes, which I did. And um, you have a, a one in 15 chance of not consuming a charge. So you basically have a one in 15 chance to save a nature rune. Wow, isn't that crazy? So, I mean, like if I'm gonna do a bunch of alkables, I probably will use this, but it's a... Uh, Honestly, not very useful. All right, let me look up what the other item in the emote clue is. It's a nature tiara. Nature. I don't have that. Shit! Tiara. I don't even have a tiara mold? What the fuck? I don't have a nature talisman. Hold on. All right, so here's the issue. I have the staff, but the other item I need is a nature tiara. Uh, idiot did not save any nature talismans or tiaras on this account for some reason. So... I need to go get that. So I could just like kill the guys in the abyss for that, but I think it might be more fun to try out the new crafting mini game because you can actually just buy it from the shop. Probably a waste of pearls, but at least this way it'll be guaranteed. So we're gonna we're gonna try the new mini game. Where is it? Guardians of the Rift. I've never done it. This will be the first time doing it. And uh, I mean, at some point I want to green this log or at least get everything but pet. Uh, I really want to try the new like green crafting methods. So yeah, let's go do some. Games of the Guardians of the Rift. All right. Temple of the Eye quest complete. 5,000 rune crafting. That would be so good early game. But yeah, I have to. I had to do this quest to unlock the mini game. But uh, yeah, the goal here is to get some of the rewards. Um, to get these, you need to have a pearls. So like the hat is 400. That's so expensive. But uh, the reason why I'm coming here is you can get um, all the talismans. And uh, it's a guaranteed way of me getting the nature tally. 50 pearls. All right, that's kind of a scam. I'm not going to lie. Ah, okay, we'll, we'll figure it out. But I do need to do this minigame anyway. Um, I have absolutely no idea what we're doing. But uh, I guess we'll just learn as we go. All right, not bad for the first session. Eight rifts closed. Eh, like an hour and 20 minutes. Not too bad. I definitely have started getting it. Um, I've been getting like minimum 300 energy of each. Um, closing in on the 400 of one of them sometimes. So... Uh, this game was actually really good. Three elemental, five catalytic. We're just gonna try our luck. I'm gonna. This will be it for today. I'm gonna be doing more tomorrow. Maybe we'll save up like a hundred next time. But I just want to see like, can we get one of the rewards in 26 pulls? Here we go. If anything, give me some pearls. So the main rewards you're gonna be getting is just runes and uh, things like that. So 
It looks like it's all ca uh, freaking chaos runes for me, man. Oh shit! Abyssal Pearls! Collection log! I don't know if 11 is a good roll, but... I've been told it seems to be like... On average, like two per pull or something around there, so... I mean, we'll take that. I mean, considering how expensive some of the things in the shop are, like, that is not going to be very... Oh, 27? All right, I... I will eat my... Whoa! The back-to-back. -back. I am eating my words. Holy shit. 60 pearls! Um, yeah, we're just going to be saving... I could buy the nature tally right now, but you can get it from a pull. It's 1 in 68, so... I think I'd rather just do that. Save 50 pearls? That's a lot of pearls. And I can use them on the outfit coming up, so... Such a great feeling. 100 elemental energy and 102 catalytic. So we have 100 pulls at the rewards guardian. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Literally like second pull we get the nature talisman. There we go. The nature talisman is done. So, yep. You know, I'm, I'm feeling good. The next 97 pulls, we can sit back and relax and just enjoy the rewards. Okay. There's a collection log slot as well. Intricate pouch. It just has a roll of loot. I don't really think it's anything special. Wait, no! Oh, dude, I knew it. Dude, I saw the one, and I'm like, that's not the right needle. Yeah, there's a there's a troll needle in the uh, stack. All right, we need one more roll of the uh, pearls, and I think we'll be able to... Yo! Okay, that is a surprise. That is a great first drop, actually. Um, Not for the use, but, like, that's rare. To get them on the log, you have to get that specific pull, right? Like, if I want the blue one, I have to pull the blue one. Um, you can turn the dies to any color you want by talking to the, to the dude, but that doesn't knock out the collection log. So, getting a die this early, not even bad. It doesn't have uses for me yet, but, I mean, they're rare. I think it's like 1 in 1,200 for a specific, so 1 in 400 for any die. That is absolutely welcome, man. I love that. But yeah, in terms of, like, the actual runes, um, they're definitely good. Like, they add up. I mean, not to mention you do get runes in the minigame. Um, it's kind of hard to, like, keep track of that. It doesn't look like Rune Light tracks the runes that you craft in the game. But I do craft, like, a good amount of bloods and deaths and laws in the game. So uh, we are definitely stacking a lot of those. So it looks like these intricate pouches are just more rolls, I guess. More runes and stuff. Um, a couple of rare drop table drops. Um, but there are some uniques from here, actually. That are on the log. It's the uh, Tarnish Locket and the Lost Bag. These two items. I don't I don't remember what these things do. Um, I believe the Lost Bag is a cosmetic. But they're pretty rare. The, the bag is 60 and the Tarnish Locket is 40. Um, and these are only like 1 in 25. So it'll take a lot of games to get these. But maybe we can get one of them in these 9. Here we go. Okay. we <laughs> Right off the bat we get a lamp. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, it's just, it's just a random event lamp. That's not really that good at all. <laughs> not good at all, man. Yeah, no, nothing nothing crazy. Two lamps. All right. And that puts us up to uh, 312 pearls. I think I can maybe buy something. Can I buy the boots? I can. Yo. Okay. So we can actually get our first piece of the outfit. Very nice. That's another collection slot. Uh, so we're just going to replace our graceful. Wow, it just looks like leather boots. All right. So, even the individual pieces of the outfit are really good, because um, they increase the amount of runes that you get uh, when you runecraft. So, I think it's 10% per piece, and then when you have the full set, it goes up to 60%. To the north of Elf City, all the way up here to this little quaint, tiny island-looking thing. Um, this is the stash unit. This was the goal of the video. Build, and then we have the Nature Tiara, and the Bryophyta Staff. Let's put it on one more time. Appreciate the view. God, it looks great. I love this item, man. And into the stash. There we go. One less master clue I'll have to drop. And you might be wondering, like, the full loot. Here you go. Like, the the cool thing is I got a ton of ensouled heads. Probably not going to use those. But that's a lot of banked prayer XP just for the hell of it, right? And if you were wondering, I used about 75,000 cannonballs. So, used a lot of what I have. Anyway, with that, if you haven't checked out the live stream, I highly recommend doing so. Streaming all the time. So, link is in the description. Come over and say hi if you want to see more content. And thank you to my channel members, as always. You guys keep helping me do what I do. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day.